I'm going to show you a powerful secret that will prevent the controllers from ruling your destiny and put you in charge of your life. You don't want to miss this video. Hi, I'm Saratoga Ocean, and I work together with an interdimensional, interuniversal, and extraterrestrial force known as Telstar, along with Archangel Michael. As you've heard me talk about in previous videos, the controllers of this planet use all kinds of tricks and traps to keep us stuck in their version of reality. They do not want us to see our true path to power and our ability to restore who we are in this universe. But we're going to change all of that today. In this video, I'm going to share a truth with you that is going to blow your mind. I'm going to show you how we can literally run circles around these primitive races who have taken over our planet and who hope to take us deep into an AI control grid matrix. What I'm going to show you is a manifestation secret that these controllers do not have access to. Everything the controllers do is based upon lies and their ability to manipulate. Now, why do you think they always have to resort to nefarious tactics to get what they want? It's because they have no power of their own. The reason they have no power is because they are completely divorced from nature and from the natural design of the entire universe. They are trying to create their own artificial reality where they can siphon power off of us as a pretty pathetic substitute for their lack of connection to the natural world. This is why they act like they are evil emperors over this entire planet. It's because they have no other way to be when they are trying to overpower the natural universe, which is so ridiculous. So let me share with you a brief description of their larger intent, and then I'll show you the amazing secret that you can use to navigate out of it. Have you ever noticed how the controllers act like angry, crazed lunatics? It doesn't matter if they're dressed to look all professional and, you know, like that, because we can see what's really going on under the surface, right? And if you really look at what they say, you can tell that they're not all that bright. They can't keep their story straight. They are losing track of all their lies. They are so obsessed with control that they are clearly exhibiting profound states of mental illness. And of course, they seem to love all forms of raging violence, which you might say is the larger equivalent of a toddler throwing a tantrum when they don't get their way. Although in the case of the controllers, it's really about siphoning off our energy by invoking fear and suffering. So overall, you know, when you lift that curtain that they like to hide behind, you can see that they are just completely crazed and unhinged in every direction. So why are they like this? It's because they have chosen to derive power by siphoning it off of other planets and other life forms, which is a very treacherous place from which to live. And it's also a very insecure place from which to live which is why they're so obsessed with control. See, they've made this choice because they have cut themselves off from the natural universe. And as I said before, they have no source of power of their own. They're not connected in with the source of all that is, with that source energy of love. They're just cut off from it by their own decision, by their own choice. So this is really all they have left in order to survive. They have to be able to lie and manipulate constantly in order to ensure their own survival. See, the funny thing is they actually cannot rely on themselves for anything. They are in a serious position of weakness when you understand what is really going on. They have to constantly provoke fear, anger, and violence in order to have any energy at all. And this is one of the reasons that they get so freaked out and they want to just shut 
everybody down. I mean, take a look at Australia if you want to get a sample of what I'm talking about. And look at the Middle East if you want a great example of ongoing violence, torture, and war that never ends. I still think the reptiles must be in control of that part of the world because this kind of stuff is really their M.O. So the controllers are always desperate and they're always in need and they're always in a state of survival. Their larger plan is to create a totally dominant, larger AI control matrix where they can hold on to us forever and use us for as long as they want. Now, if you understand what I'm saying, you can actually see who really has the upper hand in this situation. And it's not the controllers, it's us. But it's only us if we understand the bigger picture of what is actually going on. So let's take a fascinating look at the difference between us and the controllers. Let's take a look at the amazing contrast between us as human beings and these ultimately very weak, nefarious controllers. I'm going to show you two columns so you can see very clearly the contrast and this is going to really illuminate for you why it is that we actually have all the power. So over here on the left, we have us as human beings. And on the right, we have the controllers. So we are a manifestation and an expression of nature. The controllers, on the other hand, resist, discredit, and fight against nature. We human beings naturally live from the heart and seek an experience of love. Whereas the controllers have no heart and no recognition of love whatsoever. We human beings ultimately seek peace and harmony. Whereas the controllers always seek violence and pain. And next is the key point. We human beings have endless power and potential because of our connection to the natural universe. The controllers, however, have no power of their own, so they have to steal power from others. When you see the contrast between these two columns, it becomes crystal clear who really has the power. Now there is something else that we human beings have, the controllers do not have, that is going to blow your mind. And that's the secret that I promised to share with you. What you can see in those two columns that I showed you is that the controllers have zero access to the natural universe, which is why they need to create an artificial AI matrix as a fake universe that they can encapsulate us in. We human beings, on the other hand, have total access to the natural universe as long as we are doing our best to live from our hearts. Now the controllers have to form these very weird alliances with other alien species and groups who are like them, along with humans who have given up their own natural power and chosen to join the controllers in their artificial ventures. So they network together like this and they make deals with each other so they can gather some fake form of strength to overcome their victims who they intend to use in order to make up for their own total lack of power in the universe. So it's just a big ball of artificial craziness with a bunch of truly unhinged entities who are completely unevolved. Now, when I show you the advantage that we human beings have, you will realize how primitive and unevolved they really are. So let's talk about that advantage right now. This is the secret that the controllers have zero access to. Now the universe that we live in is in a constant state of evolution and ascension. Archangel Michael has referred to the universe as the womb of creation. So you can think of the universe as a living conscious being. It's not a being as we understand that word, because we tend to filter our understanding through our experience of separation and duality. I think it would be more accurate to say that the universe is in a constant state of beingness. The point is that the universe is alive. It is a living, breathing, conscious manifestation that gives rise to the entirety of its natural design. 
Now the universe is in a process of evolving out of duality and out of everything that's gone wrong here and goes against its natural design. The universe understands itself to be at one with all of its creations. It is not separate from you and I. In our natural state, we are at one with the universe and with all things within the universe. Now, I once heard a saying that nothing is ever lost in the mind of God. And I guess you could also say that nothing is ever lost in the mind of the intelligent universe. So what does that mean for us human beings in our natural state? It means that within this universe lies an intelligence that possesses all possible roads to higher consciousness and ascension, along with solutions to all of our problems. As long as we understand and accept our place in the universe's natural design. So the universe is basically inviting us to rejoin it as our ultimate, um, I guess you could say ultimate mother and father combined so we can become a viable part of its own massive healing and ascension. Now we will never ever be forced to do this. We can only be offered the opportunity. It's up to us individually whether or not we choose to take advantage of this enormous asset. Now I can describe to you what sounds like a linear path to do this, but understand that it's not really linear. It's just that the nature of our language is such that it only allows us to speak in linear ways with you know, one word, one concept, or one phrase at a time. Now here's the secret. The secret is that there is an immense power available to us if we choose to restore our connection to the natural universe. And I mean restore it in a way that is visceral, that is real, that fills your entire being with its energy. Because that's already the truth of what is really going on. It's just a matter of whether we are blocking ourselves from that experience. Now, a lot of times we refer to the universe in ways such as what you might hear Gabby Bernstein say when she says, the universe has your back. And this is completely and totally true. We also say things like the universe led me here or the universe wants me to do such and such. Or we might say, I got this message from the universe. So it's clear that on some level, we already understand this. We already resonate with this at some level, but now we have an opportunity to go even deeper. So here's how you can do this and open a door to something truly miraculous in your life. Firstly, realize that the universe is a living, evolving consciousness. It's a consciousness and an intelligence that is far beyond our limited human capacity to understand. Secondly, recognize that you have a deeply intimate relationship with this universe because it literally sustains you in every form that you manifest in. Your relationship with the universe is fundamentally based on unconditional love. That's because the universe is actively evolving back into a state of pure and perfect love in terms of all of its manifestations. So the nature of this relationship with the universe is about evolution. It's about evolving back into your natural state of unadulterated power, love, and the ability to create. So the universe is very much on your side when it comes to your evolution and ascension. Now, one of the best times to connect with the natural universe is at night when all is quiet and the earth is dark. That's when you can have a quiet sense of its hugeness and of its absolute magnitude. And it's also a good time because you are not as likely to be distracted by all the outer activities in your life. And I think it's a time where it's easier to just kind of go within and breathe into your heart center and connect from there. When you connect with the natural universe, you will feel that you are a part of it and that it is a part of you. In short, you are one. And if you go really deep, you're going to feel what is behind the universe, which is the power and the presence of that source that so many call God the creator that source of all that is, you can even tap into the presence that lies behind the entire universe itself. 
And that is truly powerful and just so incredible. Now let's go back to what I said earlier about how nothing is ever lost in the mind of the intelligent universe. What this means is that any and all possibilities for your life to improve are already known by this much greater intelligence. Let me give you an example of how this can benefit you. Now we so often feel lost in this life on earth. We might feel that we just don't have the answers that we need, or we don't know what path to take to reach our desired destination, or we just can't come up with a much needed solution. Do you know that the best answers to all of these things already exist inside the intelligence of the universe itself? The universe knows itself through and through. It also knows you through and through. It has the answers and it knows your highest and best path, but it does require your intention, your desire, and your simple wanting of those solutions from a sincere place in your heart. The universe will work with you with an unlimited degree of patience and kindness. You will never be forced to do anything that you do not want. The universe seeks only harmony within and among its entire creation. So the universe actually has an eternity to wait until you yourself are ready to move forward in your life. The universe does not seek to control anything. It only seeks to encourage all parts of itself to evolve back into its original perfect state of design. See, control is not a part of the natural world when it's manifesting in its highest state of being. It is not necessary because of the inherent harmony and oneness of all things as they were originally designed. Now, the controllers do not want us to be even remotely aware of this natural power, and they sure do not want us to connect with it. That's why they have to create constant pandemonium, chaos, and lies to distract us and keep us busy in their sick little version of reality. See, remember that the controllers have severed themselves from the natural world and from the natural universe. They literally want no part of it, and they need for us to be in that same condition. Now, if you deeply reconnect with the evolving universe in its natural form, you are untouchable by these creatures. They will no longer be able to maintain control of your destiny. Now, in terms of their control of this planet on a physical level, here's what I can say about that. The degree to which they are able to control us on a physical level right now will depend upon our ability to evolve in deep relationship with the universe in this lifetime. So why don't we try to develop this amazing power that we have to connect with our universal source right now? Take quiet moments to yourself to feel the natural universe. Be patient and calm. Don't be in a hurry. Just be sincere and feel it from your heart. And next, you can ask the universe to open up doorways and pathways and answers to your most pressing needs. Remember that all of these answers already exist in the intelligent mind of this gargantuan power. When you develop a connection and a relationship with this power that literally manifests you, you can then work in union with a much higher intelligence than your singular, apparently separated self. Now, the universe is not God and it is not source in the final sense of the word, but it is a direct manifestation of that higher power. And as a manifestation of creation in this cosmos, it is literally inseparable from that higher power. And as Archangel Michael said, you can think of the universe as the womb of your creation. And that is a profoundly intimate relationship. Now, asking the universe for help and guidance in the truest sense of it requires a certain degree of trust, of consciousness, and surrender. But I want to emphasize that we're not talking about blind trust. You never want to have blind trust. See, I think blind trust occurs when we as human beings just don't believe that we have the power to be fully conscious and to evolve into full consciousness ourselves. So we tend to, in our 
unconscious state, we tend to be given to following things that sound good and trusting it just because it sounds good. But see, that's kind of a risky way to live. So in order to work together with the universe in the most profound way, you want to learn to develop and expand your own consciousness by going deeper within your own heart. You can look at it as waking up and expanding your consciousness to the degree that you can feel your natural integration with this higher force of love and truth. When the universe is guiding you with truth, it will feel like an amazing grace has entered into your life. You will start to see that you are on a road of miracles. Now, this is not something that you do just once and that's the end of it. It's a relationship that you have an opportunity to develop over time. It's literally a part of our evolution. So the important thing is to just be patient with yourself, be kind to yourself, and don't put pressure on yourself. The key is to just stay in your heart and be very, very sincere. Be humble and just be yourself at the deepest possible level. And then you can just simply try to be more and more conscious of that relationship as you go through your life. And I wanna offer one more suggestion. I know that it's very common to ask the universe for signs, but I wanna recommend that you actually go beyond this practice. See, in a way, as long as we're asking for signs, we're still perceiving ourselves to be in some degree of separation from this amazing universe that is really the source of our manifestation. So what we wanna aim for is to feel such a union, such a connectedness, such a deep and profound relationship that we are able to simply see and know and be guided without needing to look for outward signs in the world around us. Now, I think by now we have all seen that the controllers of this earth have absolutely nothing to offer us. Nothing but fear and grief and violence and control. All they have are lies. We have to be done with these creatures. This is not who we are. It's time to restore our connection to the wider universe and learn to evolve naturally with the intelligence that actually made us. It is only in a deep union with the wider universe that we can truly be free. This is the power that will shine the light on whatever pathway is best for you. You can enter this secret doorway through your heart and by way of your deepest, most sincere self. The nature of true unconditional love is total freedom. And that's what we all need. The freedom to evolve and return to our natural selves as fulfilled cosmic creators. Remember that the controllers have their entire identity formed and based upon their separation from the natural universe. They show no sign of wanting to give that up. It's time for us to leave their domain of insanity and stop believing all of the lies that they use to trap us. It's time for us to return to the love that made us, evolve accordingly, and restore our cosmic sanity once again. So if you enjoyed this video and found it inspiring and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it out with anyone else who you feel would benefit from this information. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I am here every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday with all new videos. And with that, I'm sending you so much love, light, and high vibrational energy. And I so look forward to seeing you in the next video. Namaste.